Well, let's see if I can get this done in a single shot without stumbling too much. Alright, um, once again it's time for another fishing report and before I get rolling along, it's a couple of quick announcements, but basically the one announcement I'm going to do, or two do, I'm going to do today is first, um, we're going into December and we all have some dates available for December. I'm on the brown trout water right now. I'm probably going to stay in the brown trout water through next month. So as long as river conditions and weather's good, we're going to be fishing. So if you're interested to get out and get some late season brown trout fishing, some steelhead fishing, just get in contact with us. We do have some, some open dates. The other thing I just want to do is I just want to mention everybody to say thank you for all the messages that everybody reaching out in regards to the passing of my father-in-law um, last week. I the whole family appreciates everybody reaching out. Uh, with that out of the way, let's move on to what's going on with the fishing. Um, since I'm on the brown trout water in the western end of Lake Ontario, that's where I'm going to start. Um, the brown trout fishing this past week has been overall good. Uh, there's um, the Shrunny Creeks has got a nice handful of jag of fish in. Some days are better than others. A lot of it has to do with water temperature. We're seeing light but steady trickles of new fish coming in. And the, a lot of browns have still in really good shape, which tells me that they're just not a mass run, but just piddling in, piddling in, piddling in. Um, Oak Orchard has a bunch of fish in that too. Um, some days fish is better than others. The water flow over there is very good, so you got to get in there and really work the water and dig them out. I heard a rumor today that they got a slug of salmon in there too, so some late run Chinooks. Um, for us out here in the West End, November runs of good quality, clean looking salmon in November is not unusual. That's that's normal. We do see them. You can get some, and they can, even though they're kind of green, kind of a green look, they can be very grabby and pretty aggressive. Um, classic um, Chinooks, but that's mixed in with the um, with the brown trout, a small handful of Atlantic. I mean, we're finding Atlantic, which is awesome, and of course, an odd steelhead here or there. The um, so water flows are good everywhere. Water temperatures are we're into the late November water temperature game, where we can have a freeze at night. Temperatures are going to plummet, and if you do that, and there's frost in the morning. Don't be frustrated if you have a slow start to the day. Sometimes midday afternoons can be some of your best fishing as those water temperatures start to warm up and those fish acclimate. So I always say if you see a frosty morning, second cup of coffee is great. That's usually a really good technique. Keep your feet, protect your feet, your, your toes and your fingers and your feet from getting too cold. So expect better afternoon fishing on those days. Like today we had a hard freeze. We got some nice blue sky. Um, we're having a good afternoon bite. In fact, a very good afternoon bite. Very typical of this time of year. Egg flies, uh, we're staying with um, a lot of egg patterns, Oregon cheese, burnt orange, orange um, egg beaters, row bugs, orange and Oregon cheese, there were the row bugs, the egg beaters were running um, mostly burnt orange and orange for the egg beaters, um, sizes 10, size 8 is what we're staying with, tippets are still 3x, 8 pound, that's working really good, both in Oak and the other creeks. So that's pretty much it. Some of the guys are having success running some big stone flies. That's been working too for some people. Uh, I'm cheap. I stay with egg flies. But I've seen where small little like size 10 willy buggers and some like size 10 size 8 stones can work very well when these fish get a little crabby. So that's also another option there. So that's kind of what's going on in the western end of New York. It's pretty much we had a pretty decent week. And depending on how the weather pattern is going for the following week, we should be pretty decent there too. It's just all about, um, right now, it's all about ha having good water flows. So Salmon River, um, least there is still at uh, 335, probably right around 500, don't quote me, I haven't looked at the Pineville gauge. So water flows are good there. Um, there's fish up in the, in the Sandies up there too, but it's a hunting game, we got to cover a bunch of water. Uh, Ricky says there was some salmon up there, which then brought the whole salmon crowd up to the sandy, so that kind of uh, squirrel mocking us. So, um, but anyways, there's so the salmon crowd moved up to the sandy's chasing Chinooks. But anyways, there is some steelhead up there. The main river, the Salmon River, has been pretty much you're finding um, steelhead all through the system right now. 
the upper river is fishing pretty decent so it's a, and it's still been a quasi egg bite the fish are starting to slide off the eggs uh, Rick is saying that they're starting to pick a few up on some stone flies is start that that nymph bite is starting which doesn't surprise me um, they haven't really had any spawning activity up there for about a month um, compared to where I am on the west end of the lake I was telling somebody today that Usually the west end of the lake where I am right now runs about four weeks behind the Salmon River. So all the spawning is pretty much done on the Salmon River. We still got a few weeks of it left here. So that's kind of, so that's why we have a better egg bite. We're on the Salmon River. That egg bite might be starting to whine a little bit and you want to start carrying your nymph box. So that's kind of what's going on there. But yeah, there's fish are still kind of in the fast water. They're in that transition water too. Cold mornings might find them in the softer pockets just off the rifts and maybe into the pools where then later in the day if that worm warms up they might be back into that fast water so you still got to cover a lot of water fish through it so it's a coverage game as always the DSR is the same way down the on the DSR there down the Douglas and Salmon Run it's a coverage game probably more so on the bottom end of the river than it is up on the top, the top of the river when you're in the um, Douglas and Salmon Run you got to cover water if you hit a fish or two in a pocket move because you got the fish that are there so you want to just cover water, cover water, cover water. So just because you went to an area, you fished a pool, you fished through it thoroughly, spent 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you're on to the next one. If you didn't hit a fish, on the way down, on the way back, hit it again. The fish could move in there or a fish could have been in there and just turned on. So it's kind of like down on the bottom of the river. The more water you cover, the more bites you get. So it is definitely a coverage game. Because that's, George is just fishing through a lot of water. And um, he's reporting that the egg flies are still working down there, but he's going more to um, wet flies and small intruders. And swinging, definitely in the afternoon, sw the swing game has been working down there. So that's kind of what's going on with the fishing. Um, two things. Uh, once again, thank you everybody for the comments and the good and the, and the wishes for uh, the passing of my father-in-law, Carl Coleman. And um, once again, we do have some dates open for... Uh, December and also the people that have come by and said hello that watched the video. It's good to meet you Thanks for saying hello other than that uh, See you on the river good fishing. It's we're kind of winding down the what I call the fall campaign going to be going into the the winter campaign. Oh, by the way also um, We just posted about a week ago a fishing video on fishing egg flies. I just recently posted a tip video on fishing egg patterns we're working on a brown trout video so that means hit that subscribe button don't forget that bell icon because we should have some more tip videos and some fishing videos coming up so see you on the water good fishing to you folks this is Jay at JPEC guides and Lost River Fishing we are a year-round fly fishing catch and release guide service we fish the Lake Ontario tributaries and then during the spring and the summer we also fish the inland trout streams classic dry fly fishing during the heat of the summer we'll do the warm water fishing for bass and pike if you're interested in any of our islands or have any questions please feel free to email us at fish at lost rivers fishing com hope to hear from you and if you have any questions feel free to contact us